Hello guys and welcome back to Professor Explains channel. In this video, we dive into the world of extreme weather events and learn the steps we can take for disaster preparedness and insurance protection to decrease the adverse effects of weather disasters. Extreme weather events are destructive forces of nature that can cause significant harm to both life and property. These events include hurricanes, floods, wildfires, tornadoes, and more, each with unique causes and consequences. Hurricanes are the most destructive weather-related loss events. Hurricanes are powerful tropical storms characterized by strong winds, heavy rainfall, and storm surges. Hurricanes form over warm ocean waters and can cause extensive flooding, infrastructure damage, and loss of life. The U.S. Gulf Coast, Atlantic Coast, and Caribbean regions are particularly prone to hurricanes. For 2024, forecasters predicted an above-average Atlantic hurricane season, typically starting on June 1st and ending on November 30. As of October 11, there have been 13 named storms, including four tropical storms and nine hurricanes, four of which have been major hurricanes. Beryl, Helen, Kirk, and Milton. Examples of devastating hurricanes include the 2005 hurricane season, Hurricane Katrina being the most devastating, Hurricane Maria in 2017, and Hurricane Milton in 2024. Floods occur when water overflows onto normally dry land due to heavy rainfall, storm surges, or rapid snowmelt. In the U.S., floods frequently impact river basins and coastal areas. Globally, flooding is a significant threat, especially in regions with inadequate drainage infrastructure. Floods destroy homes, disrupt transportation, contaminate water supplies, and often result in the spread of disease. Wildfires are uncontrollable fires that spread rapidly across vegetation. These events can be caused by human activity, such as discarded cigarettes, or natural causes like lightning. In the U.S., California and the Pacific Northwest are especially vulnerable. Wildfires destroy forests, homes, and wildlife. Their smoke can cause serious health problems over large areas. Tornadoes are violent, rotating air columns extending from thunderstorms to the ground. The U.S., especially in regions like Tornado Alley, Midwest and South, experiences more tornadoes than any other country. These highly localized events can obliterate entire communities within minutes, leaving severe destruction in their wake. Other extreme events include droughts, severe thunderstorms, winter storms, and heat waves. Each can cause devastation, including widespread crop failure, power outages, and death from exposure to extreme temperatures. Extreme weather events have numerous devastating consequences. First, loss of life, as these disasters often lead to fatalities, sometimes on a massive scale. Second, severe injuries from flying debris, drowning, or fires are common. Third, property damage as homes, businesses, and infrastructure can be destroyed, leading to costly repairs. Fourth, economic disruption as large-scale destruction hampers industries, transportation, and businesses, leading to lost income and jobs. Fifth, environmental degradation, because natural disasters can decimate ecosystems, destroy wildlife habitats, and cause long-term environmental harm. Thus, there is a need for preparedness. Disaster preparedness refers to the planning and actions taken to reduce the impact of extreme weather events. It involves First, risk assessment encompasses identifying the specific hazards that may affect an area, e.g. floods and hurricanes. Second, emergency planning encompasses creating evacuation routes, setting up shelters, 
and ensuring communication systems are in place. Third, resource stockpiling encompasses having enough supplies, such as food, water, and medical kits to survive during and after a disaster. Fourth, early warning systems, including weather monitoring and timely warnings to affected populations. Fifth, training and education include informing the public on how to respond during disasters and conducting drills. Preparedness minimizes harm by reducing fatalities, mitigating enabling faster recovery. In addition, and as a complement to preparedness for loss events, there is insurance. Insurance is a financial product designed to protect individuals and businesses from economic losses due to unforeseen events. It plays a critical role as a supplement to disaster preparedness by providing a safety net for those affected by extreme weather events. Why insurance complements? Preparedness. First, insurance provides financial protection. Insurance ensures that individuals and businesses can recover financially from the damage caused by disasters. This complements preparedness efforts, which focus on reducing risk. Second, insurance provides risk mitigation by transferring risk from the insured to the insurance company. By having insurance, people are more likely to make responsible decisions about property and risk management, such as retrofitting homes or businesses to withstand extreme weather. Third, Insurance provides stability. Insurance helps maintain financial stability by preventing individuals and businesses from suffering devastating financial losses that they cannot recover from on their own. There are specific types of insurance coverage needed for extreme weather events. Homeowners or renters insurance. This covers damages to homes, personal belongings, and additional living expenses if a property becomes uninhabitable due to disasters like storms or wildfires. Flood insurance. Most standard homeowners policies do not cover flood damage. A separate policy is often required, especially for homes in flood-prone areas. Hurricane insurance. In regions at high risk for hurricanes, a separate policy may cover wind damage caused by these storms. Fire insurance. Many policies include fire coverage, but specific wildfire insurance may be necessary in high-risk areas. Business interruption insurance. This covers lost income for businesses due to closures or damage from disasters. Auto insurance. Comprehensive auto insurance may cover vehicle damage caused by floods, hailstorms, or falling trees, depending on the policy. After a disaster, affected individuals and businesses can file insurance claims to recover financial losses. The process generally includes several steps. First, documenting the damage. Take photos and videos and maintain records of all damaged property. Second, contacting the insurer. Notify the insurance company as soon as possible to start the claims process. Third, assessment by an adjuster. The insurer typically sends an adjuster to assess the damage and determine the claim's value. Fourth, compensation. If the claim is approved, the insurer will pay the agreed-upon amount to help cover repair costs or losses. Claims should be filed as soon as possible after the event, as delays may complicate the process. In summary, extreme weather events can have catastrophic effects, but with proper preparedness and insurance coverage, individuals, businesses, and communities can minimize the impact and recover more quickly. Preparedness focuses on reducing risks and ensuring safety, while insurance provides the financial means to rebuild and recover. 
together, they form a comprehensive strategy to protect against the devastating effects of natural disasters. Thank you for watching. Keep track for more videos soon. Please like, share and don't forget to subscribe and click that bell button down below.